age, what is the incentive for you these days? Uh, first of all, I'm, I want to make something perfectly clear that at my age, I don't feel anything is wrong. I think that age is just a number. It depends on how a person feels inside. If you feel good inside and you still can make the adjustments, you just th do the things you have to do in order to be successful, then you got to do it. You have to do it. What do you aim for now? I mean, you've won so many different world titles. What, is, is it the cruiserweight you're after now? You've won all the others? Yes, it's definitely the cruiserweight division title. Uh, once I can win a cruiserweight title, then I can walk up from the game and be very, very happy and um, just wait. Just wait till someone else come along and beat their record. It's going to be hard. And tonight's opponent, Andrew Maynard, what about him? Um, I, can, I don't know very much about Andrew Maynard. Uh, I've heard some things that he's a good boxer, he can punch well, but that's not my concern. My basic concern is what Tom Son is going to be able to do. Well, we're watching this live in Britain. Any message for all your fans in Britain? Yeah, I'd like to say to all my fans back in Britain, I'd like to say hello and hope that one day soon, before I retire, I can come visit you and do a show for you. Love you. Thank you. Well, it would be great to see him over here, but before that, he's got a job to do in Las Vegas tonight. They're all set for the preliminaries. Hearns against Maynard. Jim Watt, of course, and Reg Guttridge will once again be your commentators. And let's uh, rejoin Reg at ringside in Vegas. So it's back over to the MC, Michael Buffer there. This uh, airship shot, isn't it? Uh, the balloon shot of this incredible statue. Really. This is all on the, the tennis court area, actually, of uh, Caesars Palace Hotel here in Vegas. The flights in the car park of the area of Long Gone. They couldn't get sufficient security there, and uh, it's contained very well, actually, in, in this arena. Both fighters in there now waiting for American television to join them. A matter of seconds, we hope. And Thomas Hearns, I must say, coming into the ring, was waving to the crowd. He's looking awfully relaxed. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we go to bout number two here in our triple header of boxing action at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, Nevada. The three judges scoring this bout on a 10-point must system will be Art Laurie, Bill Graham, and Cindy Barton. And when the bell rings, the man in charge of the action, referee Mitch Halpern. And now, 10 rounds of boxing in the cruiserweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black and white trunks and weighing in at 180 pounds. This 1988 Olympic gold medal champion has a professional record of 21 victories with 18 KOs against five defeats. And as a light heavyweight, he has held the NABF title. Ladies and gentlemen, Introducing Andrew Smilin' Drew Maynard. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the red corner, wearing the Kronk gold and weighing 180 pounds also, his professional record, 50 victories, 40 by KO, with four defeats and one draw. He comes to us tonight from the Motor City, Detroit, Michigan. In five divisions, he's a five-time world champion. Ladies and gentlemen, the hitman, Thomas Hale! Well, this could be a remarkable comeback in many ways uh, for Tommy Hearns. I mean, he really did have a badly broken right hand. Fighter, which be my commands at all times. All right, touch him up. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Well, that was, that was short and sweet, wasn't it, there, with the re referee, Mitch Halpern. So now let's see if uh, Hans punching power is a phenomenal puncher. He has been, certainly right from the world of weights. He's a five-time champion of the world. And Get that out of and there he is. He's looking to go for a sixth do it, chapter. Do it. Can you imagine? Out from world of weight to light heavyweight, and now he's cruiserweight, which is... 13 stone, 8 division, but he's uh, in a 12 stone, 12, the same weight as Andrew May. The heaviest that Hearns has ever been. But I'm just hoping that his, his hand will stand up to him. He had it in a cast for about 8 months. First fight back, then for 20 months out since he lost to Iran Barkley, the light heavyweight, back in March 92. Uh, he's, a, he's a very wealthy man, Tommy Hearns. 
visited his home in Detroit not so long ago in the winter months, and uh, I I'm staggered that he wants to even come back. But it's a great deal of pride, and this is what he does best. He says. Gold medalist Andrew Maynard in the Seoul Olympics. Sharp as attack, isn't he, the hitman? This is almost like a, a rematch with Marvin Hagler in the opening round. And there's nothing wrong with that right hand punch, I'll tell you that at the moment. It's a remarkable. Referee got to wrestle his way through there. Jim, is this going to be the old Hearns all over again? Because Andrew Maynard's not exactly an easy fighter to beat. Well, every fight uh, Tommy Hearns ever been in, he goes looking for that first round knockout. Uh, if he doesn't get it, he settles down. Well, there's a good chance he could get it here. The only trouble is, that when he's got a man in trouble, he sometimes forgets about his own defence, uh, and he gets himself back in trouble with, with the counter punches. I don't know if that's going to happen here. But a good, sharp, positive start from Tommy Hearns. He's certainly the most exciting fighter I've ever seen. Uh, just a stumble. Yeah, he looks as though he's going to avail himself of the eight count or not. No. Well, the, the man in the zebra trunks is being hunted here, isn't he? What punching power by Hearns. Absolutely brilliant. See, I think the problem with Tommy Hearns in the last few years, Reg, has been his chin. But his punching is as good as it's ever been. But it has to be a little bit more thoughtful about defence because his own chin as they let him down a couple of times. Yeah, he was murdering around Barkley, remember, Jim, and then uh, was knocked out almost on our laps he came out there in this town. Yeah, and he's been shaken a couple of times in other fights, but he's managed to recover. Oh, dear. That punch seemed to land yeah, I don't, behind I don't, That was a straight shot, but it was a punch, Reg. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Jim, I'm not sure he's he going to get up. I don't think he wants again. to know. Hey. No, he doesn't no. want to know. With 29 no. seconds to go, and it's all over in the opening round. He, he got hurt, it went right to his boots, that punch. What a comeback for this man. One of the great fighters, 35 years old, five times champion of the world. All right, he hasn't beaten a world beater there, but he's done it so well there, and good luck to him. The way he was letting the punches go there, he didn't seem too troubled about his hand. The hand injury was not in his mind. Those were tremendous, real good, sharp, solid punches. Well, he must have unloaded quite a lot in the gymnasium, given to make sure that it was OK. Last time, <laughs> look at that. Oh, he's saying, have a look at that, but I don't blame him. I haven't seen him as happy as this since he knocked out Roberto Duran. That was a long time ago as well. Let's have another look at it. Perfectly poised, sharp, right from the start. His punching was sharp, his movements were sharp. See, Maynard just didn't know how to cope. No real defence. As though he just didn't have the experience to get himself out of trouble. But an excellent performance. That one landed a little bit high. But as always, him always looking for a quick knockout in every fight he's ever been in. Let's him go from every angle. See, Maynard just didn't quite know what to do here. I mean, it'd be better trying to grab hold of him. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, look, see, see, that's the one that actually landed behind his head. Yeah, that's, he didn't know what town he was in at that moment. He said, I don't want to get up either. This is the town of losers. No doubt the damage was done with the shots before that, but you can see that one actually landed on his neck behind the ear. A little painful, I would suggest, Jim. He must have taken a few slaps around there at the day. See that? See, see what the punch landed? But obviously, he was very unsteady up to that point. A little bit of a clatter when he landed. As you can see, looking at the uh, well, other things. Tell them all about it. Back to so. I like to say. So let's see now. Uh, when I'm done, this is the new hitman. This is the new hitman. Hit so let's man. let's get back to the studio and let them see what they're thinking about this. And you'll do a marvelous job because right now.